What's good guys, it's your boy Black Lightning 4547. This is System Test 81, Bells with Integrity. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. So yeah, so this is not a request of system test. This is my own system test. The request will resume after this test. Um, there's a lot of you guys, and um, so um, yeah, I think it was. Uh, I think it's fair for me to slide in my own test here and there. But um, but yeah, so yeah, so we got the forty ten obviously, and so let's go ahead and go over to the devices. In my bedroom, we have a Willock MB G624 rebranded by Superish Paratronics, and then it's on a Edwards 4037A uh, R strobe plate. This one is the enhanced model, um, as you can see with the red candela label. Um, and this seems like this is the only enhanced strobe plate considering that all these strobe plates have the same model number but this one is the only one with the red sticker on it so um this is actually enhanced let's go with my closet right here we have a 405 7AT um this is also enhanced um because these are the only ones that have the synchronized strobe label on the back um all the pole stations consist of Edwards 278 SPOs. Right here we have another Willock MB G624 rebranded by Ellen Co. And the same Edwards 4037AR. And this is not enhanced. Like I said, another... Oops. I was doing testing on the system earlier. Um... Another Edwards 270A SPO. Enunciator, of course. And then lastly, another Willock MBG624, also rebranded by Ellen Co. And then another Edwards 4037AR. And then lastly, uh, another Edwards 270A SPO. So we have a very consistent setup. Everything is matching in um, other like other than the rebrands, obviously. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, set the system off. It's on uh, code three. Uh, the strobes are set on synchronous, um, not smart sync, but synchronous is once again, it's like a generics uh, strobe sync. Um, so, these being enhanced or not enhanced, and the one in the room in the closet are enhanced. Um, I don't know if they will sync up with each other. Um, however, um, the worst it will happen, uh, these will sync, and then the ones in my bedroom will sync. Um, but then these two would just be out of sync from the ones in the bedroom. But you'll you'll find out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pull a 270 ASPO. And yes, it does have a glass rod in it, so... Pretty loud. Really loud. Damn, that is loud and it's vibrating the floor and like pretty aggressively. So let's go ahead and reset. And I gotta watch out for all this glass on the floor now. But yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Those two are synced. 
my one the ones in my room are synced, but they're just uh flashing differently from each other. So uh but yeah, it is what it is. Um like I said, must be different generations considering that that strobe plate has the same mall number. But um I don't know. Oh now they're now they're syncing up quite good. I don't know if they're gonna stay in sync. Hopefully they do. Um, audible silence, as you can see, I finally uh, decided to have audible silence for this test. So let's go ahead and reset. Um, there it goes. And then let's put it on a different coding option. Oh, yeah, they fell out of sync. But um, yeah, so which is a mar this audible silence real quick and then. Any second now. There it goes. And yeah. So it's no longer present. So yeah, I'm going to actually, you know what? I haven't done walk tests in a while. So let's go ahead and do a walk test of the 4010. Alright, so now we're in walk tests. So Let's go ahead and start activating devices. So, um, let's just do the pull stations first. Um, actually, I'm going to open it since uh, all these got glass rods in them. I'm not trying to break every one of them. So, we're just going to do the traditional. So, this is... Uh, device four, obviously. Um, let's just do this pull station for the hell of it. Oh, too quick. Well, I guess those don't like the quick pulses. That's why they don't flash, I guess. Oops. On walk test. Let's do this one. This is a uh, device six, or dress six, rather. Yep, these strobes don't like being coated, so they don't respawn, but they obviously work. Um, let's get a magnet and test the true alarms now. So, uh, let's get up here, stand up here. I don't know if I can reach the LED. All right, so that's address one, obviously. Um, just get this. And see if I can get this in the frame. Come on. Yeah, there's zone two or address two rather. <laughs> Ooh. All right, and then we have the last true alarm, uh, address three. Try and get both devices in the frame to see.
and that was loud. So all of the devices work. And yeah, that just stays on until it resets. There it goes. And yeah, that's all the devices on the system. So yeah. So, so yeah, my ears are ringing. So that'll conclude this test. Um, you got a little special walk test at the end. So, um, so hope you guys enjoyed the system test. Like I said, requests will be um, going back. Where we, I will be going back to requests for the um, after this test. And like I said, it's siren alarms for. Um, system test 82 and then everyone's just going to be pushed back a test for the 4010 um like i said i'm not re accepting new requests for the 4010 but requests for the 5ud and the um the 4004 are still open so um i s still got to get to those mini set system tests and bedroom system tests but um yeah for the main system is cyphorn alarms and so hope you enjoyed this request or not requested this um system test 80 um bells of integrity um it's been your boy black lighting 4547 take care and have a good one